A big thank you to our over 7,000 plus incredible subscribers for your amazing support. Keep sharing, liking, and subscribing to Alodo Agbaya channel for more dedicated, educational, and informational videos and content coming your way. At 10,000 subscribers, we will be doing a big giveaway. Stay tuned. Ever wondered how IT professionals tackle the task of sending files from a directory to Outlook? It's not always as simple as it seems. The challenge of file transfer is a persistent one, often underestimated by those outside of the IT sphere. Picture this. You're an IT professional tasked with transferring numerous files from various directories to Outlook. It's a task that, at first glance, might seem straightforward, but when you delve deeper, you realize it's a labyrinth of manual processes, intricate steps, and potential pitfalls. The manual process, for one, can be tedious and time-consuming, whether it's locating each file, attaching it to an email, or ensuring it's sent to the right recipient, each step requires attention and precision. Furthermore, this process is ripe for human error. One wrong click, one misstep, and it could lead to significant setbacks. But what if there's a smarter, faster, and more efficient way to handle this task? Introducing Power Automate, a service that enables you to create automated workflows between your favorite apps and services. Imagine a world where you don't have to manually transfer files from a directory to your Outlook anymore. It sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly what Power Automate brings to the table. Power Automate, previously known as Microsoft Flow, is a cloud-based software tool that allows you to create and automate workflows across multiple applications and services without the need for developer help. It's like having your very own personal assistant, tirelessly working behind the scenes, ensuring that your routine tasks are smoothly executed. One of the significant benefits of Power Automate is its ability to connect and integrate with a wide range of popular apps and services. Whether it's SharePoint, OneDrive, Dropbox, or your default file directory, Power Automate can seamlessly connect with it. Not to mention, it integrates perfectly with Outlook, making the process of sending files from a directory to Outlook as easy as pie. Now you might be wondering, why would I need Power Automate? Well, let's take a common scenario. You have files in a directory that need to be sent to Outlook. Usually, this would involve manually locating the file, attaching it to an email, and then sending it. But with Power Automate, you can automate this entire process, saving you time and effort. But that's not all. Power Automate also offers advanced features like condition-based triggers, loops, and even error handling mechanisms. These features allow you to create complex workflows that can handle a variety of scenarios. Moreover, Power Automate offers a user-friendly interface, making it easy for anyone to create and manage workflows. You don't need to be an IT expert to use it. And if you ever get stuck, there's a wealth of resources and a supportive community to help you out. So, whether you're an IT professional looking to automate your tasks, a business owner aiming to improve productivity, or just someone who wants to make life a little easier, Power Automate is the tool for you. With Power Automate, you can streamline your tasks and increase your productivity. Now it's time to set up Power Automate. Our first step on this journey is to get you signed up or logged in. If you're new to Power Automate, you'll need to create an account. Don't worry, it's a straightforward process. Just head over to the Power Automate website and click on the Sign Up Free button. You'll be prompted to enter some basic information and create a password. If you already have an account, simply click on Sign In at the top right corner and enter your credentials. Once you're signed in, you'll be taken to the Power Automate dashboard. This is where all the magic happens. The dashboard is your command center, providing you with a clear overview of your workflows, connections, and other key features. On the left-hand side, you'll see a menu with various options. My Flows is where you'll find all your existing workflows, while Create is where you'll go to build new ones. Data gives you access to tables and entities, and Learn is your go-to for tutorials and guides. The dashboard also features a top navigation bar. Here, you'll find a search bar for quick access to specific workflows or features, a notifications bell to keep you updated on your flows, and a settings icon for managing your account and preferences. Now let's talk about the interface. 
Power Automate's interface is user-friendly and intuitive, designed to make the process of creating workflows as smooth as possible. On the Create page, for instance, you'll find a selection of templates to get you started, as well as the option to build a flow from scratch. Each flow is represented as a series of steps, with clear visual indicators to help you understand the flow's structure and function. You can add or remove steps, configure settings for each step, and even test your flow to make sure it's working correctly. You're now all set to create your first workflow with Power Automate. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to experiment and explore. With Power Automate, the possibilities are endless. Creating a workflow with Power Automate is as easy as one, two, three. Imagine a world where routine tasks are no longer tedious chores, but instead are completed automatically at the click of a button. That's the magic of Power Automate. Let's create a workflow that sends a file from a directory straight to your Outlook. Step one, define the trigger. The trigger is the event that will start the workflow. For our example, we will use the when a file is added or modified trigger. This means that whenever a file is added or changed in a specific folder, our workflow will spring into action. Step two, configure the trigger. After selecting the trigger, we need to specify the details. In this case, we need to identify the folder where the file will be added or modified. You can do this by entering the file path in the provided field or by browsing through your files. Step three, select the action. The action is what the workflow will do once the trigger event occurs. For our workflow, we will use the send an email action in Outlook. This means that once a file is added or modified in our specified folder, an email will be automatically sent. Step four, configure the action. Now, we need to set up the specifics of the email. You will need to enter the recipient's email address, the subject, and the body of the email. For the email body, you can include a standard greeting or a brief explanation of the file. Then attach the new or modified file by selecting it from the dynamic content pane that pops up when you click on the attachment box. Step five, save and test the workflow. Once everything is set up, it's time to save and test your workflow. Power Automate provides a testing feature that allows you to run your workflow to make sure it's working as expected. If everything goes according to plan, your workflow is ready to go. If not, you can easily go back and tweak your settings. Remember, Power Automate is flexible. You can modify the workflow as your needs change. Perhaps you want to add more recipients or change the folder that triggers the workflow. With Power Automate, the possibilities are endless. The beauty of Power Automate is that it empowers you to automate processes, freeing up your time to focus on more strategic tasks. It's a powerful tool that can transform the way you work, making your day-to-day -day operations more efficient and productive. Congratulations, you've just created your first workflow with Power Automate. The world of automation is now at your fingertips. Enjoy the freedom and efficiency that comes with it. We've come a long way from the initial challenge of sending files from a directory to Outlook. We started off with a seemingly complex task, but by breaking it down and introducing the right tools, we've created a simple and efficient process flow. Let's take a moment to recap. The first step was to acknowledge the challenge of file transfer, a task that can be daunting for even the most seasoned IT professionals. However, by introducing Power Automate into the equation, we were able to turn this obstacle into an opportunity for automation. We then delved into the world of Power Automate, a powerful tool that helps you streamline your workflows and automate your tasks. For those unfamiliar with it, it might seem a bit overwhelming at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll realize the immense potential it holds. Next, we navigated through the process of setting up Power Automate. We discussed how to connect to your Outlook account, select the appropriate directory, and configure the settings to match your requirements. Remember, the key is to be patient and meticulous in this stage. Then we embarked on the most exciting part of our journey, creating a workflow with Power Automate. We walked through the process step by step, from selecting the right trigger to setting up the actions. The result? a seamless process flow that automates the task of sending files from a directory to Outlook. So what are the benefits of this new process flow? Well, besides saving you time and effort, 
It also reduces the risk of errors that can occur with manual file transfers. Moreover, it frees up your time to focus on more strategic tasks, thereby enhancing your overall productivity. With Power Automate, you've not only simplified a challenging task, but you've also unlocked a new level of efficiency in your IT work. So go ahead, give Power Automate a try and see the difference it makes.